One of the powerful use cases for Riverside is being able to conduct an entire virtual event. Your viewers and attendees can feel like they are at a conference with countdown timers, slides, different speakers, media presentation, and you as the presenter have even more tools like live audience call-ins that you wouldn't get in a normal in-person conference. So here's how to prepare and run an entire virtual event using Riverside. First, let's create a new studio specifically for our virtual event. We'll call it Riverside Virtual Events, and then let's continue to set up this studio. We do on audio and video, and we'll create the show. I'm actually gonna jump back in, hit the three dots, and go to the settings for this studio to make sure everything is set properly. We're actually gonna make this a public studio because we wanna be able to send an audience invite link so anyone can tune in live wherever they are. I am gonna keep this talk on and require guests who will be recorded and participating in the event, either the host or producer will be able to admit guests into the studio to record. I'm going to record up to 4K, and also if you're on a Riverside business plan, you can record 29.97 frames per second here in the US, 25 frames per second around the world. And one of the other powerful features of Riverside is you can rebroadcast your live event to all the different social media platforms or any RTMP server destination. So you can live stream to all of these platforms simultaneously all from inside the Riverside Studio. You can set up YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and even custom destination services down here. We have an entire video walking you through setting up live streaming with Riverside. You can check it out above or the link in the description. You can even add a custom logo for the virtual event. And now we're ready to record. Let's jump into the studio and prepare for our virtual event. As always, we recommend using headphones when you record, and let's join the studio. Another powerful feature of Riverside is inviting different roles into the studio. If you have presenters or those you want to be recorded during the virtual event, you're gonna send them this guest link. Click this dropdown, hit guest, and then copy that link and send it to everyone via email or Slack, everyone that's participating and will be recorded in the virtual event. And because I've required guests to wait in the lobby, once they click the link to join, I'll see them pop up here in the right-hand sidebar, and then I can admit them into the studio. Now, if you have people dedicated to the technical aspects of the show, maybe starting some slide presentations, starting screen shares, or just keeping an eye on all the audio and video, you can invite a producer into the studio. If I click where it says guest and choose producer, I can copy that link. Anyone with that producer link can view the audio inputs and outputs, start slides, screen shares, and even private message the guests and host. But producers won't be recorded, so you won't have a video and audio recording of anyone who joins as a producer. They will be viewable in the studio, but they can turn off their camera and microphone so they don't distract. Finally, you can click audience member and copy that link, and that's the link you'll send to everyone who's going to be viewing and participating in the virtual event. When they tune in directly on Riverside, they'll also be able to use the chat here in the Riverside studio. We'll show you that in a second. And those audience members can even join the recording, ask their question on video. You'll get that recording as a separate track once you're done with the event. And then you can remove them from the studio once they're done asking their question. We have an entire video on audience mode and covering those live call-ins. You can check that out above or the link below. Now, before the day of the event, we can preload all of our media like video, audio clips, presentation slides, put it all in the studio and upload it so it's ready the day of the event and you're not trying to upload things last minute. If you're on a Riverside business plan and you click the share button down here, you can use our presentation recorder. You can upload a PDF, Keynote, or PowerPoint file to our presentation recorder. It'll upload those slides in high quality and then you can present those during the virtual event. After your recording, you'll also get a separate track just for those slides or use our clips editor to have everything put together for you automatically. We'll show you that in a minute. Here I'm gonna select a PDF file on my computer It'll upload it to the presentation recorder and in just a few seconds it'll be ready. This presentation will stay in the studio until I remove it. So you can upload these slides or as many presentations as you need days, weeks, or months before your virtual event so they're ready to go on the day of. Once it's uploaded, I can now click this presentation, preview all the slides. I can navigate the slides using the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard or I can just click a slide to jump to it. And even after I start a presentation, I can actually give control to another guest. I can click the plus button here, give control, and then select someone else in the studio. They can actually control the presentation from their side. As always, you can view the input and output devices for all of the guests that will be recorded here in the right-hand sidebar. And if you're on Riverside Business, you can actually select different camera or microphone inputs, and it will prompt the guests to change theirs. This way they get the highest quality audio and video. And to really make it feel like an engaging conference or virtual event, you can add countdown timers, videos, and other media to our media board in the studio. Down here, I'll click media, and this is where I can upload video clips, audio clips, and I can choose to play these during the recording. As you play them, you'll also get these in a separate track in the Riverside Studio to download later. I can preview the media down here before I hit it live, and if I'm sure that's the video I want, now I'll click live down here, click the video, and that video will be presented to everyone tuning in live and all the guests as well. 
A great media element to have during virtual events are countdown videos that lead up to the next session. Upload those countdown clips here to the media board, and then you can play those after you've begun recording, and this way all of your live audience viewers will see it as well. Finally, because it is a live virtual event, you'll really want to focus on the chat portion of the studio. The chat window is actually visible even before you start recording to any audience members tuning in. This is a great use if you have a producer or others dedicated to the chat so they can monitor it and gather any questions that you can use for a Q&A session later in the event. It can be difficult sometimes for hosts and guests to try and follow the chat and pull the good questions, so it's a great idea to have a dedicated person or multiple people to the chat. This way they can curate those questions and gather them together, choose the best ones for the host and guests to use during a Q&A session later. On Riverside Business Plan, you can also use private chat to message your guests and presenters directly here in the chat window. You'll see everyone will show up here directly and this will be a private message conversation just to that guest or host. Now that I've uploaded all my slides, video and audio files to the media board and my guests have joined, we're ready to start the live event. Since I'm using a countdown video, I'm actually going to turn off the camera and microphone for myself and tell our other guests to do the same. This way, once we go live, all that will be viewable to the audience is the countdown video. Once you hit the record button and the countdown goes to zero, you'll now be live to all of your audience members and any broadcast that you've started on YouTube or other platforms those live streams will start as well. Once the countdown gets to zero, you can enable your camera and microphone, and now you and all of your guests are live presenting in the virtual event. When it's time to share slides, you can click the share button down here, choose your presentation, and now you're presenting slides. Remember, you'll get that as a separate recording as well. You can use the arrow keys or click on the slides to present. And when you're done presenting, you can click stop. The live chat will be going with questions and engagement. Live chat is very important, especially during these live virtual events. Make sure to have those dedicated people representing play your media board video and audio clips, and remember you're getting high quality video and audio recordings for everyone that's presenting during the event. When the event is over, hit the stop button and the recording will stop. But make sure you prepare all of your guests and other co-hosts to stay until their files are completely uploaded. This way you can access them in the studio later. To access my recordings, I'll go to my studio and then click view recordings, find the virtual event held, and now you'll see I get access to all of those video files. Any slides using the presentation recorder, I can download a separate video track for them. Every presenter, I can have their separate video and even raw audio tracks there. Screen shares are saved on a separate track as well. And I get a full transcript using Riverside's new AI power transcriptions in over 100 languages. And I can bring this into an external editor or I can just use the Riverside editor and put it all together in just a few seconds. I can click edit and create clips here in the top right choose full length, and this will show any presentation slides or screen shares full screen with everyone else in picture in picture. And I can choose the layout up here. And if I go up to layout, I'll choose the shared AI layout. And now you'll see as we're presenting slides, you'll still see all of the speakers video in picture in picture here on the right with the slides large here in the center. You can also choose full frame AI. So we'll focus on the speaker fully or the slides if those are being presented. And with the new Riverside text-based editor, I can select individual sentences or even words delete them, and those are now gone from this clip when I export. I can drag the in and out points down here on the timeline, and as you can see, as I drag that in point, the transcription live updates to see exactly where this clip will begin. I can see now it's going to start at the word now, and that's exactly where I want it. I can select a section down here and delete it if this is all I want, and when I'm ready to export, I can click the export button here, choose up to 4K video, normalize audio so everyone is the same volume the whole time, and I'm ready to export this clip and upload it so people can watch the recording. And that's how you can hold an entire live virtual event right in Riverside. If you'd like to learn more about our text-based editor and new transcriptions feature, check out this video above or the link in the description and subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel. We have lots of content on video setups, lighting, everything to help you get the highest quality video and audio possible. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.